We're working through the two questions in question 15 now. So if an assessor did not directly observe the product being produced, you need to decide out of the rules of evidence on that green and orange prompt sheet whether it doesn't meet the rule of being authentic evidence or it doesn't meet the rules of evidence for currency. So let's just consider your own submissions of evidence to me here at Evoke. Uh, you are sending to me through e-learning where I'm not actually physically directly observing you in the workplace. You're not recording how you're filling out that assessment plan so I can observe you by recording you actually typing on your computer and filling out those fields, say, for Susan's assessment plan. So there, there is some issues around the evidence being authentic. Because when you look at this prompt sheet and you want to make sure you're meeting the rules of evidence for, for it being authentic, you're asking yourself, is this piece of evidence the work of the candidate? So it's very difficult for me to know in an e-learning environment. If you're teaching face-to-face, -face, so if you're uh, working for an RTO that's a school, for example, there isn't going to be any issue with authenticity. You'll be able to see the student sitting there producing the work. That's the same as TAFE or any private RTO when you're doing face-to-face -face training. So, it, so this rule of evidence around sufficiency directly relates to getting around that issue of authenticity. So because you're needing to consider the evidence as a whole, you need to make sure that there's more than one assessment method to, to be able to judge them competent. So, so that way, if they're having to prove it in more than one way, perhaps through some direct questioning that might occur with e-learning during a webcast, during a telephone conference, you can then be building up multiple pieces of evidence uh, plus then there's different events that are happening. There's the question event, there's the producing of the two pieces event. So we're also making sure that we're consistently performing the required task over time. <laughs>